Hello everyone, welcome. Uh, my name is Dylan, I'll be your artist today. Uh, and today we're doing a piece inspired by uh, an American painter um, and his name is Wayne Tebow. Um, <clears throat> so throughout this uh, video, I'll be showing you the techniques that he used. Um, we'll dry everything out first before we start adding color, obviously. Um, and then I'm gonna give you fun facts and also show you some of his work. Um, a little bit of a warning if you're doing this on an empty stomach it's probably not a good idea because he does a lot of paintings of um food items and i will go into more detail soon but like i said if you haven't eaten today uh make sure to go get a little snack or something or make yourself a sandwich whatever uh keeps you going um <clears throat> so here's the piece two ice cream cones that he has done. It's a little bit different, like the backgrounds and everything. And I think I used different colors because I couldn't tell what some of them were in his actual piece. Um, but all you need is a pencil, the paper, uh, watercolor set, um, crayons. You only need a couple of colors, not all of them. Um, or oil pastels if you have them. Uh, but I'm just going to use crayons, uh, paper towels, and a water cup to clean your brush with some paper towels. Um, and then uh, for the one that I'm doing for this video, I taped off the edges so that I get a nice border. Um, and some of his pieces did have a nice clean border to it. Um, I didn't put a border on this one, obviously, so I wanted to do it for this one. So I'm going to move this out of the way. Make sure that's straight. All right. And so I'm just going to start with my pencil. And for this, make sure you draw very, 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 very light. I can't stress that enough. You want it to be very light. Um, you want to hold your pencil like this, not like this, like you're writing a letter to Santa Claus. You want to have make sure it's slanted so that you don't put a lot of pressure on the pencil because um, you'll be able to be very light. And crayon, sometimes if you go over pencil, it shows the pencil underneath. So that's also why you want to draw very light. Um, so I'm going to draw two circles. I'm going to make it really sketchy because I can't do a perfect circle. Uh, but just make sure to stay very light. I'm going to go maybe over here. Um, and I'm going to want the next circle right next to it to be pretty much the same size. I mean, it's ice cream. Um, so it doesn't have to be exactly perfect. Um, whenever I go get ice cream and put it in cones, it's never perfectly round. There's some flaws in it wonky in a way um so here's my circle and we're also going to make it kind of like curvy too so that it makes it look more like ice cream but we'll do that with the color we won't do that with the pencil so with the pencil you're just making a circle and then with the color we'll make it kind of bumpy around the edges um, also what you can do is take your eraser and just go very very light over it and erase part of it so that you can still sort of see it. That also helps as well. Kind of just brush it off so you can still kind of see it. Um, and then I'll make another one right next to it. I want a little bit more space actually so that we can put these two shadows right there. So I'm going to leave a little bit of space so that I can fit those shadows in there. There we go. All right, that's as perfect as that's gonna get. Um, and then what you can do to make it easier for the cones um, is starting out with a perpendicular or yeah line like that going upwards. And then another one going the same direction, kind of looks like cherries right now. And then what you wanna do is <clears throat> make it round at the top, like make a frowny face on both tops, frowny face. And then make the cone on one side going outwards. And then going outwards the opposite direction. Same thing on the other side. Very, very light going diagonal towards your ice cream to make the cone shape. Okay, and then what you'll want to do is erase the middle line so that you just get the cone shape. 
the less pencil lines the better because we're using watercolors okay so got that and then i'm going to start with the face so on this one the nose is pretty much right at the top of where the bottom of the cone is so right here at the top um, and then they're like oval eyes one two and then the smile just a regular kind of happy face smile so that way he's like looking up um so just like this just very very light no pressure at all and then on this guy we're gonna make a circle down here and then two ovals one two and then a nice smile and then so <clears throat> we want to make it look like it's kind of melting on the surface that it's laying on so what you want to do is kind of make kind of like a kind of curvy kind of like squiggly kind of look uh, going inwards so that it looks like a puddle around the ice cream just very very light in this area it goes all the way to the bottom of the circle same thing on the other side we'll make it kind of wavy around from one side to the other <clears throat> so yeah wayne tebow uh, was an american painter he was known for his colorful work showing pies um lipstick paint cans, ice cream, pastries. Um, he has like a couple of hot dog ones. Um, and he also did wet landscapes and portraits. So he didn't just do food and other objects. Um, he uh, <clears throat> he uh, hasn't always been into art. Um, he, was, he played sports. Um, and when he was 16, he broke his back playing a sport. Uh, I don't, they didn't say what sport he broke his back playing, maybe football or something. Um, but so after he broke his back, he went into the more creative direction. Um, so, so that, so th you can think about that. Like if you're playing a sport and you want to like, maybe take like a breather from it. Um, you can paint, you can, uh, draw. There's other outlets that you can go to. All right, and then with the shadows, um, the shadows are kind of weird looking. Uh, it doesn't have to look like mine, but if you do, it's okay. So I'm gonna start like right here and I'm just gonna make this kind of wonky, kind of like how we did the melting part of the ice cream, kind of staying skinny and then going up and then kind of going and going into like the direction of the puddle. So that kind of disappears. Um, so just this wonky kind of shadow. Same thing on the other side. I'm going to make one long one. And then a big one right behind it. And then once we add color, you'll start to see it a little bit more uh, where the shadows are. Because they're going to be darker than everything else. So then we are ready to start adding color. So go ahead and open up your crayon box. And we're gonna look for a brown crayon. That is not brown. Let's find the brown one. Yeah, we'll we'll do like all the um, crayon works first before the watercolors. Um, we'll uh, because we don't want to do the crayons after the painting because sometimes crayons don't work on wet surfaces. So we're gonna do all the crayon first. Okay, so first we're going to do the cone, and you're just going to make X's to get like that texture. So just X's going all the way from the top to the bottom. Make sure not to go over your nose. Same thing on the other side. Just X's from one side to the other. like that pretty simple <clears throat> and then I'm not gonna outline the whole thing with the brown I'm just gonna do certain areas see I'm leaving spaces because we're gonna put other colors in the other spaces same thing on this one I'm 
Now we're gonna use brown and yellow and orange and some red. So there's the, we're gonna do the ice cream and work our way down. So now I'm gonna find orange, orange crayon. Let's see if I get it right this time. Yes, orange crayon. And so I'm just gonna go over in this area with the orange. Over here, over here, just the, just around the, the cone, kind of fish finishing up the, the edges. Um, so that's orange. And then we'll take our yellow crayon and kind of go underneath the X's that we made with the yellow crayon. So just on the bottom of all, all your X's, just the bottom. And then a little bit of yellow, like maybe around the edges of the ice cream cone as well. Just to brighten it up a little bit. I like Thanksgiving colors. Okay, and then we're gonna find our red crayon. Red. Red, perfect. And then uh, I'm just gonna do this, these two areas. So one right here, and one right here. One right here, one right here. You want the middle to be empty. Um, and then still using the red crayon, we'll outline our noses with red. So that one. This guy right over here. And then we'll do our smile with the red. The smile with the red. Yeah, so like I said, after he um, hurt his back playing sports, he went in a more creative direction. Um, he started working on uh, backdrops for the his theater program at his high school. Um, so he did that um, and worked with the crew. Um, so that was uh, the creative outlet that he went to first. So he didn't start out painting. He started painting a little bit later in his life. Um, and now we're gonna find the let's see we'll find the black crayon next let's see oh that's purple hopefully there you go sometimes they forget to put that black crayon all right so now i'm just going to outline the eyes with the black we're going to use black watercolors to fill them in Okay, let's see. I think that's about it with the crayons. Yes. Hmm. Actually, let's go ahead and find our red again. Um, no, never mind, never mind. Scratch that. We'll use the watercolors to do that part. Okay, so I'm gonna put my crayons back. Now, I'm going to show you guys some of his work so that you guys can catch up with the crayons. Photos. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Recent. Recent, there we go. Okay. So uh, here's um, some pies that he did, or cakes. I can't tell, I think they're, I think they're pies. No, they're cakes, Never mind. they're cakes with little cherries on top. Um, so he's very colorful. He didn't use blacks or anything that much. He used blues for shadows, purples, reds. He used a lot of colorful colors. Um, here's some ice cream that he did, little um, glass containers. Very colorful. Um, some different cakes that he did. Uh, lollipops, he did a lot of candy. Here are the ice cream cones that we're doing. So as you can see, I just did a white background uh, with a yellow ground so that the ice cream can sit on top. So you can choose to do these colors if you'd like. Whoops. The blue and the blue green color. Some candy machines, some gumball machines. Very bright and colorful. Some donuts. And here are some, uh, he did a lot of architecture and landscape paintings too. Um, so very, very interesting and cool. And then here's a portrait. 
that he's done. And oh, some also some bow ties. So he did clothing materials as well. I forgot to add that in there. Um, and some more cakes on some plates. Um, so that was some of his work. And uh, if you guys need help spelling it, I'll make sure to write it out um, at the end of the video so you can look up more of his work. So it is awesome to look at. I love his pieces. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna get my watercolor set and I'm gonna start painting. So what we're gonna do first is the ice cream cone. We're gonna get our brush wet and we're gonna use brown first. We're gonna use brown and I'm just doing one side with the brown. I'm not gonna do the whole thing brown, just one side of the ice cream cone. Doesn't really look brown, but it works. I'm gonna do the other side. I think the less water, the more brown it will be. If you use a lot of water, it'll, it'll turn into this pinkish color. It just depends on the watercolor set you're working with. Okay, and then I'm gonna clean my brush. So, and I'm gonna grab yellow. I may go back and add some more brown just for some texture. So there's some yellow on that side and yellow on the other side. I think I'm also going to put some orange in this one just to make it a little closer to an ice cream look. So now I'm going to, you don't really have to clean your brush for the orange. You just picks up some orange and kind of mix it in the yellow just a little bit, not too much orange just on one side and then I'll do orange on the other side. There we go. Yeah, it looks much nicer. Yellow is kind of faint. Can't really see it as much. So I'm going to add a little bit more pop of yellow in there now that it dried a little bit. Okay. So there are your ice cream cones. Actually, I'm going to get more brown, get more brown and kind of like make these kind of like crazy kind of texture lines within the cone. Just to make it look even more like ice cream cone. There we go. Perfect. And then I'm gonna clean my brush. Here's one fun fact that was super cool to learn about. <clears throat> so um, he then, after he graduated from high school, he worked at Walt Disney Studios as an apprentice. Uh, which was very, very cool. He was the one who rendered frames. So I guess um, he kind of cleaned up the drawings and kind of made it cleaner and nicer for the people to turn into the film. Um, I forgot he did a couple of, he worked on a couple of Disney cartoon films. I don't remember the names of them though, but I thought it was super cool that he worked with Walt Disney. Okay, now I'm going to move on to the ice cream. So I'm gonna clean my brush, make sure it's clean. You know, I need brown or yellow or orange. And then we're gonna grab red. So you're gonna wanna use more water than red paint. Um, Cause you're gonna want kinda be faint, like a pinkish color. So more water than red. And you're just gonna do the left side of each ice cream cone. Just one kind of stroke like this. Cause we don't want it to be perfectly white. So that's perfect. Um, and then you're gonna do that to the other side. That's a little darker, but that's okay. I'll take some of it and put it over here. And then we're gonna take some of that red and put it underneath our smile too. Kind of creating like a shadow underneath the crayon line that we made. Kind of looks like the Joker. All right, and then we're gonna do the nose. So with the nose, um, make uh, make like a little circle, just somewhere up here. Um, same thing over here, make a little circle. That'll be your glare and the, uh, the cherry or whatever that is for the nose. So that looks shiny. And then you're gonna paint around it with the red. Just cause we don't have white paint, we can't make a white dot 
after the red dries. So that's why we made the little glare circle first. Okay. And then, and you don't have to do this. I'll leave this optional for you guys. I'm using a little bit of blue for a shadow since we don't want to use black. Um, just like around one side of both the nose, like close to the bottom, maybe like over here. Just to like add some shadow on one side of the nose. Same thing on the other side. Some blue over here just to make a shadow. get more red because this kind of does get messy over here there we go just on one side just like the left side of the cherry nose okay and then since we have blue we're gonna do um around the the eyes so there's blue around the eyes the black eyes there's a little bit of blue on both sides so blue over here and blue over here. And you can do it on one side or both sides. It's up to you. Um, and then what we will do is put some blue um, over on this ice cream cone. We're going to take just a tiny bit of blue and kind of um, go over here to add a shadow just on this side. Doesn't have to be too much, just a little bit. Same thing on the. Uh, never mind, we won't do it on that side. We'll do it on the opposite side. Never mind. Almost forgot what side to put it on. And that's a little too dark for me, so I'm gonna take more water. I'm gonna go within it. Um, you can always use your paper towels as a tool to remove some if you don't like how much is on there. So make a little point like this, kind of just like dab. Yeah, that's much better. You don't want it to be too dark. So I'm gonna take some of them there. There we go, just on one side. We're also gonna put a little bit of green over it on that side too. Make it some green. There we go. And kind of put it like right on top of the blue to make like a nice teal turquoise color. And then we'll put some of that color that we just made since it's on our brush over on this side. Actually, I'm going to take more green. I'm going to take a little bit more green. Like that. And then put some more water. And then I'm going to use that paper towel technique I showed you to kind of remove some of it. To make it lighter. Okay. And then we will move on to clean your brush. And we're going to be using orange. After working with Walt Disney, um, he started doing, make, learning how to do lettering and sign painting um, and cartooning. Um, so he did that after he uh, was an apprentice with Walt Disney. Um, so he went to that and then later on, that's when he became an artist or a painter. Um, and he started selling paintings out of his car. He went to school for arts um, for a, a little bit. Um, and he's, he also did other things like once he learned lettering and stuff, he made maps for like one of the wars back then. It was when Ronald Reagan was president. I can't remember which war, but he started making maps for them, which was very cool. Um, so now I'm going to put the orange um, around both bottoms of the melting part of the ice cream so i'm gonna go like this and then go around the edge and end it inside like that kind of make like a w on both sides a curvy w just like that we'll do more with the melting part uh later uh once we get our shadows in there uh which is right now so let's go ahead and do our shadows and first we're going to use um blue so grab some blue after you get the orange out of your brush and we're going to kind of do the bottom side of the shadow first and we're going to put red on top so it makes like a purple 
Um, so go ahead and fill in this area of the shadow with the blue. And this way it's going to like show the melting area once we put in our shadows. So it's going to just be blue and red. Okay, and then I'm leaving a little bit of space up here for the red. But we're going to do the blue on the other side of the shadow next before we do red. So I'm just doing this one side blue, the top part. And then I'll be putting blue in the other area. And then red on the bottom. Yeah, there's two separate shadows. There's one shadow right here and there's a big shadow over here. You'll see once you put in the red. So go ahead and clean your brush. And then we're going to take some red. Go in this area. So it contains a little bit of purple. And then I'm going to put red over here. See so it's turning kind of purpley. Here. If you want to add black to this, you can. I think I added um, black in my other one, but you don't have to. It's up to you. See, it's making kind of like a dark purple color. That's kind of why we don't need black, since we are used blue. And black kind of flattens things as well. And he was a colorful kind of guy, so. Um, oh, forgot to do red over here. Perfect. Okay. And I'm going to clean my brush. And we're going to do, let's see, we'll do black only for the eyes. Um, with a little bit of blue. Actually, let me look at this picture one more time. I think he did black for the eyes, actually. Yes, he did. Okay, perfect. Uh, we are gonna do black for the eyes. So let's paint in the eyeballs now, black. Less water for that, so that it becomes darker. So less water, more black. Wait, it's nice and dark. There we go, much better. Alrighty, let's see. Um, and then what we'll do is add the rest of the shadow underneath the melting. Um, so I'm gonna clean my brush, get all the black out. I'm gonna find blue. And I'm just gonna outline the melting parts with blue so that you can see it. Okay, and same thing with the other one. Kind of goes over the orange a little bit. Okay, and we're also going to put a little bit of blue um, around the the bottom of the ice cream cones, or the uh, ice cream part, sorry, not the cone. That. Perfect, it's coming along great so far. Um, now I'm going to put a little bit of green, actually. I'm going to put some green over here. Yeah, just like that, like around the bottom of this one. And a little bit on this one as well. Okay. I'm going to also put a little bit of green around the melting part of the ice cream, just in different areas, not all the, not the whole thing. So I'm going to put a little bit of green over here, a little bit of green over here, a little green over here, and a little bit of green over here. Lots of bright colors. Okay, so 
The next part will be the ground, so we don't want our ice cream floating in space. Um, so uh, for the ground, um, you want to use any color you want. So I'll show you guys the example one more time so you can kind of see uh, the colors that he used. So um, with this one, he used kind of like a mixture of blue and green. Um, and then this one right here, it looks like it's there's more blue than green. So more green than blue on the top and then more blue, less green on the bottom. If you want to, you don't have to. You can make a purple floor, um, a red floor, yellow floor, like what I'm doing. Um, I just don't want to get too crazy up here. And I'm working with a very small brush. If at home you have a big brush, definitely attempt the top part. But since uh, I want to save some time um, to show you the final piece, I'm going to just do the floor. Um, so we're going to do that now. So I'm going to grab some yellow. And I'm going to make a straight line, a kind of perfect straight line. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to use a ruler or anything. And I'm just going to make a line going behind our ice cream cones. I'm going to paint that whole area yellow. And you can get kind of messy with it if you want. I'm just kind of stay as close as possible to the shadow. Um, it's okay if some of your shadow is still wet and it mixes in with the yellow or whatever color you're using. Um, it'll add more character that way. Yeah, I kind of actually like, I like some of that shadow mixing into my yellow. So I'm actually going to get a little bit closer because I like that. It's very nice. Yeah, so you don't have to do what I'm doing, getting really close, having some of that shadow mix in with the floor. Um, but I think it looks awesome that way, but it's up to you. I know I'm going kind of crazy with it, but really you want to stay kind of horizontal with the ground. Um, but I'm just trying to fill up the space as perfect as possible. So I'm going to take some more yellow. There we go. Kind of drag out some of that shadow in the yellow. And then I'm gonna go over here. Yeah, this is looking very nice. I may end up maybe putting some color on the top. We'll have to see. Maybe some green. Yeah, I'll, I'll try it. I'll make it look different from the, the other one. Just so you guys can see how it looks with the wall color. Since I just did the floor color on the other one. Okay, now I'm gonna clean my brush. And I'm gonna do green, I think. Yeah, do some green. Small brush, just so you guys can see the difference. Go. Yeah, I love using watercolors. It's super, super fun. You can like extend it as much as you want. Just keep adding more and more water. You can get really creative with it. Um, so yeah, I think he uh, he did mostly paintings. Um, he has a couple of prints um, as well. And that's kind of how this is going to look, like a print with the white border. Um, with his paintings, he went all the way from edge to edge. Um, he didn't leave a white bar like me. Pretty much did what this one looks like going from edge to edge. But then he has some paintings where there's a white border and those are prints. I think it looks nicer sometimes with borders. And then you can leave them white 
Um, or if you want to put another color as the border, you can. Um, so like if you want a purple border, you can paint the sides purple if you taped off your edges. Red. You can mix a certain color. Like mix, um, let's see, green and blue make more of a turquoise color. Red and uh, purple make a magenta. A really bright light purple. All right, let me kind of make this kind of line up. Let's see, boop, boop, boop. right there. Yeah, let me make sure. Perfect. All right, I'm actually gonna put some blue in here as well since I got a little bit more time. Just make like a darker green, I like that turquoise. Yeah, there we go. And I'm just gonna be messy with it. I'm just gonna like push my brush around like that. Kind of adding some texture in the wall. Same thing on the other side. It's very messy. So you can see the brush strokes. And then over here and we'll call it a day. Got too crazy. What ended up going on my yellow? Yeah, so it looks more like his style. I'm gonna go around the edges as well, maybe. Yeah. Kind of make that turquoise color that you guys saw so you can see how it looks. And I think that'll do it. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna make that line a little bit darker just so you can see that that is where the table ends. So just take the blue, less water, more blue to make it darker. Like that. That's more of how I like it. There, so you can see where the floor ends. Alrighty, and that is it. So now I'm going to show you what it looks like without the border. So you want to take uh, one end of the tape, um, use one finger, like your pointer finger, after you, and kind of push it back with your finger. You don't want to rip it like that because then you'll take some of the paper with it. Yikes. Okay. <laughs> so that's what happens when you rush. So just one finger. Go. Move that out of the way. Same thing on the other side. That pointer finger. There we go. Much better. I think that, yes. There lies the problem. Same thing, finger, just push it back. This tape has also been sitting on here for a while. Okay, and then I'm gonna go this direction, just so I don't rip my painting. And I'll just kind of rip this part off. Then I will show you guys how to fix it. Okay. Just like that. Okay. Yeah, I got too aggressive over here, but it still works. And then you can put in a nice frame and it'll fix it for you. All right. So um, you want to find a pencil. And then this is usually where the signature would go. You don't want to use pen because um, it'll start turning green later on and it'll look nasty. Um, and this is where the title would be. So let me name it Ice Cream. Ice. It's like an ice cream. Use scream for ice cream. And I started spelling scream. Ice cream with little quotes. And then to finish it off, since this is um, the first one on this type of paper with the border, I would do one out of one um, or artist proof, which is the one that you keep and you don't sell. Um, but that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you haven't eaten yet, I'm sorry. You can go make yourself something to eat now. But, um, maybe not sweet if you haven't had dinner yet, maybe after. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it. 
Uh, go on our Facebook page to see more of uh, our videos. And um, I have a couple of videos of other artists that I've done with fun facts and stuff like that. You can tell your teachers about for extra credit and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a great day.